How you too? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys in location in my bedroom on my bed. Yes, I'm just laying here. It's cold outside. Oh God, where to start? I don't even know where to begin. Oh God. Um, I haven't been on doing morning chit chat because my son's car. Is broken down again so he's been using my car so all of them been in the car with me in the mornings on the way so I haven't been making any videos because of that and I haven't been out to even go shopping I'm just upset 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 because you know it just seems like every time Harris Teeter Super Doubles come around their car breaks down so I haven't been able to do any couponing no Harris Teeter Super Doubles now um I did um do a little writing clearance and i just haven't been into making a video i did find some of the clearance things at rite aid and um i don't remember if i did anything at cvs i really haven't done much of anything i've been seeing people getting this stuff at walmart and target and it's just mm -mm, haven't gotten anything so I just come on just to update you guys that y'all know I'm living. Um, I was sick with the flu. I don't remember if I made a video telling you guys about that or not. But I was sick with the flu. Um, it started out that Monday. And I felt good that Tuesday. That Monday I felt a little bad. That Tuesday I felt good. I'm like, okay, I beat this thing. I'm over it. It's not going to be as bad as it was. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. And then Wednesday, it said, no, no, sister girl, come on here. <laughs> it grabbed me by my neck and threw me in the bed. And that's where I was at. I bought New Year's in sick, sweaty, sweat porn, head hurting, dizzy, not eating, no taste. Everything was salty. I just, that is the worst stuff. I don't wish it on anybody. And do y'all know I still have residual effects? I'm still having some of the cough and still TMI for those of you who get sick on the stomach, okay? Still throwing up some of the phlegm, coughing that up, and it's just been a nasty mess. Oh my God, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I'm telling you guys, that stuff <clears throat> excuse me that stuff is terrible but i do feel better i will say that and um another update and i'm gonna try to hold this together <laughs> oh my god it's like one thing after another it's like the snowball effect and it's like how much pressure can i put on this girl and let's see how much she can take <laughs> She talk about all this trusting God and believing in God. And let me see if I can break you. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's what I'm going through now. Okay. Y'all already know. I told y'all that Booba had an interview back in December. Which the lady wanted to review some more information. So she rescheduled it for January the 15th. I think it was. He got a call where they put it up to january the 5th then he got a call where they pushed it back to the 7th i think it was he went two days later so anyway lo and behold he went for the interview and um our case got denied again for a second time so they sent the files and everything back from ghana back to the united states and we have to start all over again so i mean it is just heartbreaking i'm like where do i go at now what more information do this woman want you know she um he said that she just said that she was not convinced that it was a legitimate relationship and i'm like how in god's name do you know how somebody feels in their heart how do you know i mean how how, how do you know what, what what is there i mean how do you know so i'm i'm just totally upset about this um i don't know which way we're gonna go now or which route or which forms or how we're gonna do it you know we're just kind of in the process of talking about some things on how we want to proceed from here out um so my thing is i am going to start planning me another trip to ghana that's the first step right now 
So, I, I don't know when it's going to be. I'm thinking maybe April or... I don't know. I really don't. It's just, I, I don't know. I'm just disgusted with this whole process and and having to go back through it again. And y'all know it took us a year to actually get here to where we are now. It took a year. So... I'm like, what, what am I going to, I got to do it. I got to wait a whole nother year. I'm like, what? Well, I guess it was a little bit, <coughs> a little bit quicker than a year because I sent the paperwork off. Huh? Yeah, in May. It wasn't quite a year this time because I sent that paperwork off. No, it wasn't. It was in April. I sent it off in April. So, and we're just getting here now. It's January, so not quite a year. But, I mean, and then they said that we have to wait four months to reapply. So, we can't reapply within four months. So, we're going to be right back at April again, I guess. Before we can send off some more paperwork. And I guess we'll have to wait again, 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 again. I know. So, I don't know. Just very discouraging. Very, very, very discouraging. So, I don't know. You know, I just look at it as maybe it's not God's time now for us to be together in the States. You know, maybe there's something that God's trying to tell me. I don't know. I just have to be open and willing to listen to the voice of God. You know, what is it? What, what is it that God's trying to tell me? What is it that God's trying to tell us in this? You know, is it that I'm not prepared? I'm not ready to have a man in my life now? Or um, is there some things that I need to change about me before um, he allows him to come into my life on a full-time basis? Um, I don't know. You know, um, I don't know. So, you know, I'm just going to be prayerful about it and see what God what God says, what it is that he is truly saying. Um far as being like I said again, I'm very disappointed about it because I just knew for sure it wouldn't be long before he would be here and I'll be starting a whole new journey, you know, on a different journey, but you know, it is what it is. So, um I'm not giving up, so, you know, I'm not going to give up to the fat lady sings, okay? And y'all know I can't sing, so we ain't got to worry about that one, huh? <laughs> she won't be blowing no notes coming from this way. <coughs> so, I will keep you guys updated on what my next plans and next steps are going to be. Um... I don't know if we talked about several things, refiling again um, for a fiancé visa, or um, I can actually officially get married over in Ghana and then apply for, um, it's called a K-130. Um, no, it's an I-130 is what it is. I could have for my husband to come here to the states i could do it that way so i don't know i kind of want to have a wedding here with my family i don't want to do a wedding over there and then come back and do one here too i don't want all that i want my wedding here in the states with my family and my friends it's where i want my wedding <clears throat> i'm not doing two weddings so i don't know i don't know i need some guidance <laughs> Any counselors out there? <laughs> Anybody else been through? I know it happened because they had somebody would have stepped forward when I've been talking about this whole process and say, I've been through this, so I know what you're going through. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what's going on with my life, okay? It's just all in the shambles, okay? Not a shambles. Redirecting. It's a learning process, okay? Y'all are learning from Miss Natalie what not to do. <laughs> oh, God, if you're going to fall in love, fall in love with somebody in your country. Don't go into a different country and fall in love, okay? Who knows? Who knows who you're going to fall in love with? Who knows how things happen, you know? It just happens. So, just got to deal with it. 
We try to fix it and, and, and do what's right. That's all I can say. So anyway, that's it. I'm back at it. Hopefully my son will get his car fixed this weekend. Jesus, Lord, please. Because I can't stand it. I'm sitting, you know, if I had my car, I wouldn't even be thinking about going out. Now I'm thinking about all the ways to get something sweet that I don't need. <laughs> I want some muffins from Sam's Club. I want something, some chocolate. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just laying in this bed thing about everything that I don't need, okay? And it's ridiculous. And I even thought about getting my fat behind up and walking to Dollar General. And I'm like, you know you are not going to walk down that road for somebody to knock you in your head and think you got something. I I'm telling y'all, I already told y'all about my neighbors. I don't know if I posted that video or not. But you know they from the hood when you see a shopping cart from a grocery store in the yard okay so i don't play around with them folks over there i'm like y'all just moved in and police been over there ever since y'all been there or it's always been a fuss or a commotion and then one time it got quiet over there i said maybe they gone to jail or gone somewhere i don't know maybe some of the younger crowd moved because it's the older lady in the wheelchair so i know she ain't the one doing the cutting up it's them younger children so i'm like mm-mm I don't mess around at night with anything like that. If it was my little old neighbors, I, I walk right up and down there. But now it's got to be daylight so I can see. So I ain't leaving out. I'm going to sit here. Got some peaches. I'm going to eat some peaches. Got an orange. I'm just going to push it out of my mind. If I knew how to bake a cake, I will bake a cake. <laughs> ah, homemade cake I'm talking about. Not box cake, you guys. But anyway... How can I get off of here? I feel crazy as ever. But I just want to touch bases with you guys and let y'all know what's going on. Mm, I know. Another year. Anyway, get ready for the big trip planning because I will be planning a trip. So I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.